Sense. I'm sure that was just an accident. No, it wasn't! Yeah! How many rhubarbarians does it take to change a light bulb? I don't know. How many rhubarbarians... Uh, what's a light bulb? I don't know. But if I did, I'm sure it would not change my negative opinion of rhubarbarians. <laughs> <laughs> I'd better go. Things will only get worse for you if you're seen with me. No, no, things will be fine. I'll be... Oh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Oh, you dropped your hat. You know me. Oh, here you go. <laughs> oh, I get it. Oh, are you oh, okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> oh, goodbye. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Missed the door. <laughs> Bye. I got my hat now. <laughs> oh, she is somewhat clumsy for a princess, no? What? Petunia is a princess? But it goes. Excuse me, Nona. I don't mean to pry, but if Petunia is a princess, why are you two so poor? It's complicated. I'll explain later. Um, it kind of is later. Oui. Let's go to the book. Page! It all started before the Great Pie War. As you know, I once had a husband. The brave and noble Gildersleeve the Invincible. And we had a son, Ryan. The only slightly less invincible. Oh, did I mention that my son Ryan, noble citizen of Scorn, married sweet, sweet Petunia, the princess of Rhubarb? Petunia's married? No, not your horses. There's more. You see, when our son married to Rhubarbarian princess, we all went to live in Rhubarb. But before we left, Gildersleeve provided for his brother by giving him half of the golden crest. It was the key to his castle. Half? Why don't you just come out and say you don't trust me? The other half was the key to the great vault. This he kept for me. Then things got bad. The armies of Rubab went to war against the kingdom of Scone. The great pie war has begun. As you know, Gildersleeve and Ryan were neither invincible nor slightly less invincible. Wow, I never knew. But why didn't you stay in the kingdom of Rhubarb if Petunia was a princess? Paige! Petunia's family welcomed her, but not me. To them, I was the enemy. But Petunia was so compassionate to me. She sacrificed living as a princess to come and take care of me. Wow, you're right. How's that? This is complicated. So, you're forced to live in a tree stump because of Gildersleeve's brother. He only looks out for himself. I'm so sorry. I wish there was something I could do to help you get the other half of that crest. No, no. Goodbye, Duke. Voila! <laughs> oh, Petunia! Sorry, Nona. I'll get dinner right away. How's apple fricassee? Fine, dear. But first, I have something for you. I want you to have this. You need it more than I do. But, Nona, the key to the vault? Oh, this is too great a treasure. I... Can never repay me? Well, I think Duke will help you with that. Duke? What does Duke have to do with anything? You just give it to him and ask him to joust for you in the tournament. Give it to Duke? Trust me, dear. Oh! Oh, P Petunia, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Tell him you think he's nice. I? Nice? Oh! You sure are. Y you're really nice. You're one of the nicest people I know. Tell him. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Duke, uh, I think you're nice, too. You do? Well, I, uh, now, I... Now, the crest. What's this? I want you to joust for me at the tournament to win the other half of the crest from Gildersleeve's brother. What? The family. Mention the family. If... If Gildersleeve's brother won't look out for family, you must. Me? For you? 
Well, you're known as second cousin. Twice removed. Duke, I know this is a lot to ask, but I want... Ahem. Uh, I need you to joust for me. Well then... Yes! Yes? Yes, of course I'll joust for you. I'd do anything for you, Petunia. Even if I had to joust Otis the Elevated. By the way, who is Gildersleeve's brother anyway? Otis the Elevated.